see it and you go to Sunday school. Amen. Matthew chapter number 21.
Um, everybody will have an interaction with, 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 that, with, that, with that chief cornerstone, whether on, to on the top side and be broken or at the bottom and be ground into powder. But one way or another, there will be an interaction. Uh, today, trusting, uh, trusting, uh, trusting Christ puts you on the top and, 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 and you will, when you come to Christ, you will be broken. You will come with a, a broken and contrite spirit. You will, you, you will be sorrowful for, 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 for the sin that you, that you've committed in your life. And, 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 and you will, you, you, when you, when you are, uh, when you are broken, that's when, that's when you, uh, you can begin life. And, but there will be many that, that, will, that will, will, will refuse to be broken in this life, that they will refuse to, uh, to, 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 be, uh, to be trodden down, they will, they will refuse to, uh, to, to uh, humble themselves before a, a thrice holy God, and they, will, and they will go about their lives, and, and, and they will do whatever it takes so, so that they don't have to, to, don't have to live the life. That mean you live, and they, they they will they will spend their their they will spend all of their life doing whatever it takes to get just a, a, a little bit farther, just to get a, a little bit more ahead, to, to, to get a, a more a more a prestige or more clout, if you will, in, 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 in their life, and not realizing that one day that if, if they don't if they don't uh, if they aren't broken before the Lord in this life, that one day that they they, they will they will be ground in, in, in the in, they will be ground in, 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 in the power and, and and not have a, a chance at, at, at a home in heaven uh, 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 on the other side. Yeah. And so we, we find that we find that 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 that, 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 that principle is simple. Th is simply this: either you, you get you get right with the Lord and, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you and you 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 are broken before His sight and you uh, and you are humbled before His sight, or you stay proud and, and, and He will have to uh, He will have to break you in, in His own way. And, uh, and and we find, and many times we, we it happens all the time. Uh, it seems that that that, that we, we watch as li as lives aren't aren't just broken, but they're shattered and they're 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 completely destroyed. And uh, and, and it's a shame to see someone that that when they when they when they pass from this earth, that we know exactly where they were headed. Yeah. But this life or, or 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 after, there will be a time that we will all. Meet, uh, meet and, and have to deal with that chief cornerstone. And I want to try to I want to try to preach on that stuff for just a little while. Life on the wrong side. You realize that the Pharisees they spend their they spend their life on the wrong side uh, of the tracks or the road or whatever you want to say uh, of Calvary's cross or or, or Jesus. Uh, but you'll find that they, they spend number one they spend their life on the wrong side and in, in, in the wrong lane. You see that the Pharisees they they come to Jesus every single time that he meets. Every single time that, uh, that he's, he's, he's eating uh, with sinners, every single time that he is healing, healing the blind or making the deaf to hear or, or making the lame to walk or, 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 or healing on the Sabbath, every single time that he is doing a good thing for, for people, it seems that the Pharisees show up and want, and want to question everything that he does. You see that, that, that you see many times that that's exactly how, how sinners come in, into the church house. They'll come in and, and, and instead of instead of listening to the to the, the word of God preached, instead of listening to the Holy Ghost that, that, that has dealt with their heart and coming to an altar, you know they will they they'll they'll do many times they'll bow their chest and they'll walk out the back door and say, well, well that preacher's stupid. Well that, that book is stupid. Well that church uh, they're that they're they're brainwashed and, and they're so and they're stupid and, and they will they will call and call Contact and, 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 and call people and, and, and do their dead level best to make to make a to, to try to make a, the church look look bad and try to discredit what what the, what, the, what the preacher said and what the Bible uh, teaches and they they they, they do they, they do everything they can to stay on that side of, of, of the tracks if I can say it like that while he's teaching the Pharisees show up and, and say why are you doing that whenever he's healing or and healing and helping. The Pharisees show up and say, "Why are you doing that?" <laughs> whenever, whenever he, whenever he, he is, uh, he, he is uh, fixing things. The Pharisees want to challenge every move that Jesus makes. All too often, Christians are more interested in challenging the authority that gets put in their life, uh, whether it be their pastor, their husband, their parent, uh, uh, instead of just looking uh, at what is uh, at what is being done and saying, "You know what." I can get behind that, and I want to be a part of that, and I want to, and I want to help. The, the, I want to help uh, whatever it is. 
I can I can uh, re I can remember there was been, whenever I was growing up, my parents didn't argue very much, especially not not in, in front of me and my little brother. If they argued, we didn't know about it, and, and, except whenever we were riding in the car. <laughs> and when we were riding in the car, my mom looked this way. My dad had his all right hand on the steering wheel, looking that way, and uh, that's the only time we knew that they were arguing. And uh, and, and but but I, I can remember there would be times that every now and again, uh, my 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 mom would, would uh, my mom and dad they would start uh, they would start going back and forth and we 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 grew up my, my parents had a Ford Aerostar van that looked like a cheese wedge that's what they looked like or or, or, or a really cheap uh, 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 space shuttle and uh, you know it looked like a little wedge if you, if you remember what they looked like and uh, and, and so it, it, so there wasn't a, a whole lot of uh, privacy in, 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 in a Ford Aerostar I'll just be honest with you uh, I, I, my parents sat in front of us. And we had about this much room, and me and my brother sat in the second row of the van, and we we would hear them as they would as they would they would bicker back and forth, and and and, and I, I can I was as I was putting this together, I was I would I would remember I, I could remember my mom would say, well that's just that that just don't make she would she whenever my mom was mad at, at my dad she'd call him Joey or she'd call him Joseph, and she'd say and she'd say she'd say Joey or Joseph, and she and she would go on to the on the thing, and and, and finally my dad would get his belly full. And he'd look at her and say, Renee, that's enough. We're not talking about it anymore. I made a decision, and whether you like it or not, I don't care. <laughs> and, and, and he would make the decision, and, and she would turn, and she'd say, well. And she would she'd put her arms up across her, 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 her chest. She'd look out the, the passenger window. There was no holding hands. There was no, there was no, uh, my dad trying to scare her as we rode down the road. He made a decision, and, and, that, and, and, and that was what it was. But there was, a, but, it, but, I, I, but it didn't just end right there. It just, it, it, it would, it would take time for her, for her, for her, I guess my dad would apologize. I don't know what happened. But it would take a little bit of time before they would, they would, they, they would look at each other and get in the car or whatever. And the truth is that there's, there's still sometimes that authority in our lives, and there's something inside of this, this wicked flesh that, 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 that wants to uh, rail against the authority. I mean, you can look at it all over our country and all over the world. Uh, I mean, Kelly were just talking about this the other day. Where it seems that uh, the, the law enforcement in the last ten years it seems has been uh, vilified, and it has been, uh, it has been. Uh, 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 the, the cop is a villain and said instead of instead of just doing his job and we were talking about a situation that 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 it ha that it happened right here in Pooler and I told her I said I said the truth of the matter is that is that if I was that cop I would have done the exact same thing because I, I realized that I realized I, 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 if I was a cop because of the way the laws are written because of the way things are things go on it, I, if I if I do anything outside of what I'm allowed to do I go to jail. <laughs> You know, and 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 I said, I said, and and and, it, and it's all because of, of the society that we live in has turned uh, has turned uh, the authority in our lives uh, the, the, as we go down the roads and as we live uh, we live our lives. Uh, the, the 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 society has made them uh, enemy number one in in society. And you know what people do? It's it's always amazing to me. I I, I love watching YouTube, and it's always funny to me uh, the, the the people that that they that they they think that they do not have. To to obey and 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 and, 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 and uh, submit themselves to the authority, or when it comes to riding down the road, and that they won't they won't run, they won't roll their window down, and, and they want to they want to have a conversation through a closed through a closed glass. And they want to do these things, and and, and the, what they find out is that every single time that they they, they think they're, they're that they're doing something, they get dragged out of a vehicle one way or another. <laughs> And the truth is, is that there's something inside of us. If you're not saved, that says that says, uh, don't you don't have to listen to them. You remember when you were a child, and mom and and mom and mom and dad said you can't you can't have that. I don't know if you've ever done this, and I did it. I'm not proud of it, but I was like five. I had I had a, I wanted a piece of double bubble bubble gum from the from the Walmart. And that was back in the day when they left the bucket out there and it was like a, a penny or five cent or whatever it was. And then you could just go get you one and put the little, the little penny in there. My mom said no. Well, we made it out to the car and guess what? Aaron was chewing double bubble bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, you know, at five years old, I went to sleep. My mom has told, told me the tale of the story. And uh, my mom said no, but I wanted that bubble gum. And I got it. 
And it was good too. If I, 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 don't, I don't remember what that one tasted like, but I remember what all the other double bubble ones that I paid for taste like. And, uh, and it was good. Now, there's no doubt in my mind it was good. It was just, it was exactly what I wanted. And uh, I got it. And I made it out to, the, to our Aero Star van, because that's what my parents drove my entire life since growing up as a kid. And uh, my mom said, Where'd you get that gum? So what? What gum? <laughs> Stop chewing at that point. And uh, and she said she said that the gum that's in your mouth. I said I got it from the store. She said did you pay for it? I said no. <laughs> it was the bucket was open. I I, meant I could get some. And uh, she said oh no son you have to pay for that. I said well, okay. You I don't have no money. <laughs> and uh, she made me spit it out. Marched me back inside to, to, to I'll never forget this lady to take about the rest of my life. Her name was Miss Alice, and she was friends with my grandma uh, at the Walmart. And uh, she marched me into Miss Alice in there, and she said, you tell her what you did. I ain't telling her what I did. <laughs> you tell her what I did. <laughs> and, uh, and what I'm saying, what I'm saying all I have to say is I had to say sorry, and uh, I didn't get my gum. My mom still had to pay the five cent, and I didn't get the gum. And, and, and so, but there's something inside of this, and when somebody says, no, don't do that, Something inside of this flesh says, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it be the devil or it, may, or it just be our wicked flesh, something inside of us says, go ahead and do it. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's not, no, nobody will find out. It'll be okay. And the Pharisees, because, they, they, because they, they were not willing to submit themselves to a higher authority in their lives, you know what they said? That there's something wrong with him. There's something we've got to get rid of him. And, and because, because he doesn't do it the way that we do it, because he doesn't teach the way that we teach, because he's not, he's not part of our group or, 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 or the part of our, our good old boy system, we're going to, make, we're going to do everything we can to get him to shut up, yeah. <laughs> to get him to go away, to get him to be, to be gone. So they, they show up immediately. They, they start out on the, wrong, on the wrong side of the lane. But you'll find not only that, but you'll find that, 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 they, spend the, that they spend their time on the wrong side of labor. I'll be honest with you. I know that, that I, 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 I'm a worker. I can't get around it. At, at the end of the day, I, and when, it, when it comes to the, the, the things of the church, and, and it doesn't even matter if it's the things of the church, if, if, if somebody calls me and says, hey, can you come over here and help me? 90% of the time, if I can work it out, I'll be over there and I'll help you. That's just the way that I, that's just the way that I, was, that, that, that I was raised and that's just the way that I am. My wife, she, we were talking about this the other day, she calls it hard-headedness. <laughs> and, and I call it keeping my word. <laughs> But there's been times that, 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 that I, I have, I have uh, I, that <coughs> going, to the, going back to the church, there have been times that I'll be honest with you, we, that preachers could have said, hey, we've got, we, we're going to come and we're going to pour concrete out here in, in between the buildings. Oh, no, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and, and I think to myself, this is not going to be fun. And the morning comes, and I, and, 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 and it's, I got to get up to, to get over here to pour concrete. And I'll be honest with you, I don't want to get up and come home, come more concrete. There's been many days that yesterday morning, Timmy said, "Hey, we got to go. We got to run, run down the road." Six thirty comes early in the morning on Saturday, especially. Amen. Can I say this that 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 seven thirty in the morning on, on Sunday mornings comes early? But, but you know what's funny to me? If if, I, if if I'm coming to church on Sunday morning, eight o'clock is is rough. But if I wasn't coming to church, I'd be up at 6.30 running around doing whatever I need to do and, 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 and have no issues. I'd be like, huh, oh, this is the easiest thing. And this, is, this, is, this is great. What I'm saying is, 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 is when, it comes to, when it comes to our labor, it, it, the, the Lord, He was about the Father's business from the, from the time He was born to the time He was crucified. He, 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 was, he, was, he was willing to go and do whatever the Lord commanded Him to do. And, 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 and He did those things. But you'll find that, the, that every single time that He would show up to, to heal, every single time that He would show up to, to help, every single time that He would show up to teach every single time that he was he was laboring for the glory and honor of God, you'll you'll find the Pharisees show up and you know what they say, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Yeah. Why are, why are you working in that in that regard? Can I say this that 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 that, 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 that whenever you whenever you're living for God, 
Whenever you're laboring for the Lord, there are going to be people around you that say, I wonder why they're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, I don't know why they're doing it that way. I don't know, I, I can't, I don't know why they're even doing that. They, they, don't, they don't have no business doing that. Do they know who they are? And it's so easy, it's so easy to, to, to let this flesh take a, a run rampant in, in, in our minds, and, and, and next thing you know, the next thing you know, we're saying, hey, why are you doing it like that? You, I, I, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> work days for, for, for me and Brother Mitch, they don't work out very good. <laughs> I, I want to talk, Brother Mitch is working. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, we, we stood right here one day, and, 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 and I stood there and talked. Brother Mitch was trying to focus, and, and finally he was like, Aaron, be quiet. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to get this stuff measured out. <laughs> He's like, I can't think with you talking. I was like, all right, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> but, the, but the truth is, is that, is that there's, time, is, 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 there's times that, that, that we, sometimes we, we end up being more of a hindrance than we are a help. And the Pharisees, every single time that they would show up, you know, they were, they were, they were, they were being more of a hindrance. They were being more of a help. They didn't care anything about what the Lord was trying to do. They, were, they, they could care less what Jesus was doing. They, 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 were, they, they, they were more interested in, 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 for, in, in for, uh, for, uh, for him not to do something so they didn't, have, so they didn't look bad. Right. And their, 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 their labor was not, was not a, a one that, that was for, for the Lord. They could care less if the, if the Lord got help or if he didn't get help. Yeah. You know what they were more interested in? The, 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 their, their labor was for them. They, they, they wanted, and I guess I, I should, I'll, just, I'll just give you the third point so I don't, I don't mess it up. Their third, point, their third point is their loss. It says in Matthew, uh, in, in, in the verses that we read, it says, it says uh, uh, in verse 42, it says, You said unto him, did, did, he never, did you never read in the Scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and, and it's marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say, say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken. What in the world? Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> Therefore say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. What he was, what he was, what, what he was saying was, he said, he said, I'm going to go away, and whenever you reject me, and, and I go away, I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give it to somebody else. I'm going to give the opportunity, the things that I've come for, the things that I have, I have been here for, the reason that I'm here. Because you're about to reject, you're about to reject the chief cornerstone. I'm going to turn that thing over to somebody else. Exhibit us. <laughs> we are, we are, we are, we benefited from them from them rejecting the chief cornerstone. But you'll find but you'll find that, that, that they were so they were so interested in, and I'm going to mix uh, point two and point three together now. They were so interested in, in what Jesus was doing and they weren't doing that it caused them to, that it caused them to to, to 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 decide that they would rather they would rather their Messiah they would rather the, the one that has come to uh, the, 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 to 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 Israel to to bring them uh, to bring them back unto unto God and and, and to fix the relationship uh, with God and, and to be that 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 bridge between uh, between God and themselves because because uh, because Jesus was so interested in in in, 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 in doing that. And they were so interested in, 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 in getting rid of Jews because he wasn't lining up with, with their theology, because he wasn't lining up with, with their, their, their way of doing things, because they were, they, because they were uh, he wasn't lining up with, uh, with how they thought he should do things. And, 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 and to be honest, he wasn't lining up in a way that, that, that benefited them. They were, they, were, they, were more, they were more interested in losing everything that they could have had and still have the opportunity to have and will and it will to be turned back to him at some point. Yeah. But those but those Pharisees in, in that day they were they were more willing to get rid of the answer for their lives and the solution for their lives and the and the thing that they needed simply because he wasn't doing it the way that they did it. I'll be honest with you there that if you, if you're going to live this Christian life at any any time at all, there are going to be people that don't like the way that you do it. Yeah. If the Lord says this is what I want you to do. There are going to be people that, 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 that don't like the way that you do it. They're going to question the way that you do it. And you say, well, this is just the Lord, way the Lord told me to do it. And I, can't, I can only do what the Lord's told me to do. 
And, 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 and there'll be times that they're going to come and say, I'm just going to get it. But if, you, if, you're, going to, if, if you're going to live the live Christian life and, and you're going to do it for Him and do it for His according to His will for your life, it won't matter what everybody, what everybody... You imagine this. What if the Pharisees would have came up to Him and said, well, well Jesus, if you'll teach it like this, we'll leave you alone. If you'll, if you'll heal in, in private, if you'll perform those miracles in private, we'll leave you alone. And Jesus said, okay. <laughs> and went to and went to closed doors, and he and, 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 and only his only the disciples were the ones who were allowed to come in and hear him teach. And only the only the, 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 the disciples' family would have gotten healed or, or uh, seen miracles done. And the, you you would have you would, if he would if he would have conformed to the way they wanted to do it. That there would have been thousands that would have never seen the Lord, the Lord perform a miracle. The 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 the, the five thousand that were fed with with two fish and five loaves, they would have they, they would have never they would have never seen that miracle. They would have never seen the the twelve the, the twelve baskets be, get filled back up. They would have never seen uh, they would have never seen a, a, a water turn to wine and, and lame wa lame uh, lame to walk and the deaf to hear and the blinded eyes to see. They would have never seen any of those things if, if Jesus would have said, you know. What? Well, guys, you're right. But I, but but that I, but but I'll say this: that that at some point in your life, you're going to run into a Pharisee. It's just the way that it is. If you're trying to live for God and you're trying to do it according to His will, you at some point or another, you're going to run into it. And 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 and, 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 and you'll have you'll have you'll either you're going to do one of two things. You're going to say, "Well, I said I'll pray for you, brother." Or sister, and uh, but this is the way the Lord told me to do it, and as long as it's not violating the scriptures, then I'm going to go ahead and continue to keep doing it the way that the Lord told me to do it. Amen. Or you're going to say, you know what, you're right, because I don't want to hurt your feelings. I'm going to do it your way. And sometimes Christianity is hard. Sometimes, sometimes living for the Lord and and, and, and being uh, enemy number one in, in, in this life is not fun. But at the end of the day, if you're going to live for the Lord, you're not going to be you're not going to be uh, uh, you're not going to be liked. If you're going to live for this uh, for the Lord in this life properly, people are going to are going to make fun of you. People are going to question you. People are going to are going to are going to ask uh, why uh, why did you do it like that? Why are you, even even people in, in in the in the church will say why are you doing it like that? Amen. But. The Pharisees were more worried about what they what they could gain. You know, they they they, they would go and they would go they would go out in the streets and they would pray. And they would pray so everybody else could see see them pray. Yeah. Everybody else could hear them pray. Everybody uh, would would look at them and say, "Man, look how spiritual they are. Look how look how wonderful they are." And Jesus said, "If you pray in secret, my Father in heaven." Which heareth in secret will reward thee openly. I'll be honest with you. I that was Aaron Mills Paul's translation. That didn't say it exactly the way that, what, that. But I don't want I don't want everybody else to to see see how spiritual I am. I'm not interested in in, in, in everybody else saying, "Man, look at Aaron. He's so spiritual. He 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 reads his Bible. He prays. He's on church all, uh, 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 every time the doors are open." I don't care about that. I mean, I do, I do care. It's, it's, it's important for my testimony <laughs> that 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 that, I'm, that I do what the Lord to, has told me to do. But at the end of the day, the work, the work that, that the work of the Christian life is not done just right here. It's done at, at, at my house, in my prayer closet, in my in my Bible reading time, in in, in 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 raising my home and leading my home day in and day out. That's when the work is done, and, and everybody else that doesn't see it don't know. But the but but the Lord that's in heaven when it, that He sees it and He knows, and and if I and, and many times it's so easy to say, man, I like I I love to have what He wants, and if I just cut this corner right here, it, or I, I would love to have what they've got, and if I cut this corner right here, if I stop going there, if I stop doing doing these things, then I'll get some I I I'll get some more uh uh, uh I'll get more uh, uh closer to, to my goal at work and this and that, and the truth is, is it's just not worth it. <laughs> The Pharisees were they, they were willing to do whatever it took to get rid of the thing that they, they that they thought was causing them a problem, and were un, didn't even realize that if they would have just examined themselves, 
and got in line and got on the and, and got got with the Lord and got on the other side, that their lives would have been so much easier and so much better. Yeah. And eternity would have been a whole lot better for them. But they're just unwilling to get to the other side. I'll be honest with you. We all start. We start. We all start on the wrong side of, 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 the, of the cornerstone. When we're born, we start on the wrong side, and, and we live our lives on the wrong side every single day. Every single day of our lives, it is not until that that, that we are that we are broken and that we see our we see we see ourselves unsaved and in need of a savior. Do we ever do we ever get to the other side of, the, of, of that cornerstone where, where we can be broken on this life and we can and, 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 and but we but, but we, will, we we can rejoice in the next? I'll be honest with you. There's there's been many days that I, I we're, we're, we 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 uh, there's been many days that I've said, man, I'd really like to have whatever it was. And then and and, and then I, I look and I'm like, I could get those things if I if I if I really wanted, I could get it. If I, if I wanted to, to forsake some things. Mm -hmm. But I'm just not willing to get onto the other side and, and squander the life that I've got here so that I can have the things that everybody else has got here. The Pharisees, <laughs> they just didn't care. And, and there will be many that will come through these doors and they and, and, and they will and, and, and they will say and they will, they will they will do whatever they can to try to change everybody's mind. And they and when they realize that, that, that they can't because your mind's made up, they walk right back out the door and go somewhere else and do try to do the same thing. Yeah. And there's been there's and, and I'll say this there's many in churches today, and that's exactly what they're there for. Not not because not because they want to be there, but because they want people to see who they are. They want people. They, they, they want people to, to, to listen to them. They want people to, to, to hear them make the that, make the decisions. I'll be honest with you. It's just it's, it's human nature to want those things. It's human nature to be in power. It's you know that's why they, that's why they always teach take care of number one first. Yeah, you know, number one is always first, and then everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it's the exact opposite when it comes to the Lord. Yeah. You never and you'll never find anywhere in the Scripture where Jesus said, you know what. It's all, it's, it's all about me today. I'm not worried about anybody, the, the, God the Father, getting to them, performing the will, will of, uh, of my Father. It's all about Jesus today. <laughs> he, was, he, he came and, 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 and he performed the, the will of God for his life. And, and why he was doing it, he was, he was doing it for, to, to help and benefit everyone else. The only ones that you'll ever find that, that, that say, you know what? He, he could have, she could have, she could have, she could have went and turned that in, and she could have had plenty of money, and she could have gave it to the poor if she wanted to get rid of that uh, of that one man. That was the Pharisees that said, you know, take care of number one, and then and, and let everybody else figure it out. I don't want to be on the wrong side. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to fall on, on the wrong side of this uh, uh, here, and people and people and and and, and 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 destroy my testimony for uh, for a lost and dying world because. I, 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 I want to worry about number one. Yeah. I want my testimony to be that Aaron spent his life on others. Yeah. Of course, of course, you know, of course, we got to take care of my family. Of course, I got to work. Of course, I got to go and do and do the things that not necessarily that I want to do every single day. But I want my life to be. To, I want people to look at my life and say that they, they say, yeah, Aaron had his problems. But he was, but but he spent his life for on others. He spent his time worried about uh, making sure others were taken care of, making sure uh, making sure things were done. I, I was telling I was telling Tim we were right down the road yesterday. I said, listen, I said I don't have a bunch of money just to be able to give away and, and to help others like that. I said, but what I can do is 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 show up when when you need help and help you. Amen. I said I, I don't I don't have it like that. I was I, I watched my dad give a shirt off his back one a few times. And, uh, and, and and so I figure I figure I, I can't I can't help somebody financially, but I can help them physically. I can do I can I can help them get to where they need to be, or help them. I can I, I can help them. I can be a friend. I can be a, a, a listener. I can I can do all those things. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, once I get done listening, once again I get done helping, once I get done doing all those things, I have to go back to the Lord and say, All right, Lord, where do we where do we go tomorrow? Where do we go to? What, what do we do tonight? What, what, what do we have? What do you have for me next week? 
Because at the end of the day, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want people to, I don't want to do it so that people see me. I want to do it so that the Lord gets glorified through whatever it is that I do. Amen. And the Pharisees did it the exact opposite. They were, they were, they, they, and I find it so funny to me. How, how, why is it that even, it's even this way today, that just doing right is so, was so unpopular for the Pharisees. Yeah. Like, Showing up and the Lord helping helping the, the people that, that 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 they live with every single day, and they and they're being like and, and, and they go, well, why why do you do that? Why do you do it like that? I, I just I just don't understand why they would why they would look at why they would look at you and say, well, why did you help that one? Why did you help that person? You should have done that. And it just it I, I was uh, I, I was. No, nah, never mind. I'll, I'll tell y'all after. After that, it was pretty funny. But uh, if you want to hear about it, I'll tell you. <laughs> but uh, I just don't get it. And then I find, and then and then we do the same thing here today, and and not in in Christianity today. Somebody goes and does something for somebody else. Somebody else finds out about it, and they say, "Well, I didn't think. I mean, I don't. I don't know why they did that." They don't. They don't. They didn't need that. They didn't need this. Instead of just saying, "Hey, man, thank God that you were able to do that. Yeah. Thank God that they that they got whatever it was that they needed." I don't know if it, it is. It's got to just be this flesh that, that causes us to be that way sometimes. Okay. That selfish, critical attitude. But I, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to be that way. I don't want you to be that way. I don't want. I don't want. I, I don't want. I don't want any. I don't want anybody to be that way. I don't. I have no desire. To, to 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 bring you down. All I want to do is help. I want to be like Jesus and help everybody else. And if they're wrong, tell them they're wrong, according to the scriptures, Amen. not according to what Aaron says. <laughs> and so this morning I'm done. We made it through with no with no with no no leave it. Have a leave. <laughs> so anyway, let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for being kind to us. Lord, thank you for mercy, grace, uh, and long suffering toward us. Lord, I pray. That you would uh, you would help us to, to, to look at every situation that we're that, that, that we're in, so that we look at it in, not in the, in the wrong way, but Lord, we look at it in your in, in your in your way, Lord. That you, we would we would we would do your will each and every single day, Lord. That we would be excited for the things of God each and every single day, Lord. That we would we would we would take the time, uh, whatever it is that we get in our prayer closets, that we that we find out what your will is. And Lord, we 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 get about the the Father's business, Lord. That 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 we wouldn't have that we're so busy doing what you'd have us to do, dear Father. That we wouldn't have time to look at everybody what what everybody else is doing, and and and, and be critical over those things, and, and have a Pharisaical attitude over it. Lord, I pray, dear Father God, that you would uh, you would touch us. I pray that you help us. I pray that you bless the preacher as he as he preaches this morning. Lord, that you use him for your glory and honor. And Lord, I pray that you bless the singing that'll be done. Lord, that you touch the girls. Lord, that you'd use them for your glory and honor, dear Father God, and Lord, that we would we would uh, we would hear from heaven this morning, Lord. We surely love you. We thank you for it all. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.